In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to grow your Instagram using the infamous $1.80 strategy, otherwise known as the cross-pollination strategy, the 502 strategy, the 10 by two strategy, the comment strategy, or many more, they're all the same. And this strategy is gonna allow you to gain highly targeted followers to your Instagram who are more than likely to turn into leads and potentially customers for your business when you do this effectively. Now, I've made a few videos on this strategy in the past, but the difference in this one is I'm gonna dive into my screen in a moment and walk you through how I do it and just show you some live examples so you can hopefully learn a bit more from it. So the overview of this strategy is first things first, you're gonna set up your Instagram account to convert convert profile visits into followers and leads. Then the second part is you're gonna go out there and find accounts and hashtags where your target followers are hanging out or your target customers. And then the third part is you wanna go and engage on those hashtags and those accounts in the comment section, leave comments, reply to comments, etc., to get the attention of your target audience to then bring them to your account where they're then gonna convert into followers, leads, and customers for your business. Let's dive into my screen and I'll show you how. Okay, so diving into my screen, you can see my profile. And like I mentioned, first things first, you must make sure that you set up your profile to convert profile visits into followers because otherwise you're wasting your time sending people to a profile that doesn't convert and part of this does actually come down to establishing who you're trying to reach on instagram and then catering towards that so in my situation right here i've got my account cleverpreneur which basically i'm trying to grow and get in front of people who are looking to grow their Instagram following, specifically for their business a lot of the times, but also just in general. I'm trying to get in front of them so that I can then have them turn into customers for my agency or filter through to this YouTube channel. So I've set up my profile in that way where I've got a short, sharp username, my bio explains what I do, some of my results, and then a call to action for people to DM me, as well as a link in my bio, which goes to my website. I've also got a relatively simple profile picture, a results highlight, and a feed full of valuable content. So my account set up, now I'm good to dive into it first, establishing what accounts I'm gonna be running this strategy on. Now moving on to the second part where we're gonna identify the hashtags and then accounts where my target audience hangs out that I'm gonna be engaging with. Now personally, I actually use a Chrome extension called $80 to keep track of all of this, which just makes it really, really easy for me to do so. As you can see here, I'm on their site where I've got my Josh Ryan hashtag one set of hashtags and accounts that I'm gonna be targeting for this strategy. So I found five hashtags that my target audience hangs out on, Instagram tips, Instagram marketing, Instagram tips and tricks, Instagram tips for business, YouTube tips, because I'm also occasionally giving away a few YouTube tips on my Instagram account. I've got Squared Academy, Dave Tallis, Vanessa Lauer, the Harry Needham, and Russell Brunson. These are a bunch of hashtags and account where my target audience is. So that part is sorted. Now we're gonna be moving on to step three where I'm actually gonna go out there and engage on their content and keep track of it all to get the absolute best results. Now you may have noticed when I first started sharing my screen, I've got this little widget here. And if I expand that, it is actually a new tool which is just about to be released and I've got early access to it to show you guys from $1.80, which pretty much just allows you to keep track of everything for the $1.80 strategy and just simplifies it all so that you can save a lot of time. So this is a little widget that you can move around and it's got, I can select that Josh Ryan one set of both hashtags and accounts. And then all I'm gonna do is simply click on the hashtag. It's gonna pull it up and then I've got this hashtag. And so I would go out there and then leave nine comments on this hashtag or up to nine. It can be one, it can be two, three. Sort of the idea is that you leave nine comments on 10 different hashtags and accounts, which gives you 90 comments. You are, the idea is that two cents per comment, like leaving your two cents times 90, dollar 80, if, if you're wondering about the name of the strategy. But anyway, I will dive into the top post on this hashtag at the time being, and it is a post from this person here, how to stop overthinking your content strategy. Um, and the post is all about my experience. I've found there are three things to do to shake off this habit. Try not to be perfect. So when you're doing this strategy, you wanna make sure that like you're actually leaving comments relevant to the post. So you do wanna quickly read through and see what it's all about. So it's about not being perfect with your content, which I agree with. 
and, and just trying to not fall into that pattern of, of overthinking. So you're just gonna leave a relevant comment, something like, say for example, I totally agree, stop overthinking, and just put out value to your target audience. That helped me massively in building my accounts online. And boom, just like that, I've left a relevant comment on this person's account. And so every time now that someone searches hashtag Instagram tips, they are going to see this post right at the top. And when they click on that post, they're gonna see a comment from me, which is gonna drive people to my account. And then some of them are gonna turn into followers and potentially customers. Now, as you can see, I left a comment on hashtag Instagram tips and it has shown up as one out of 90. So I've got 89 more comments that I can make throughout the day while staying under that 90 comment limit. So what I would then do is I'd just go back to Instagram tips and I would just go and comment on another piece of content. So this time I might pick one from down in the recent tab, uh, why you should thank your competitors. So here's why you should thank your competitors instead of trying to sabotage them. Um, so it's a post about being nice to your competitors. So I'm gonna dive in there and I'm gonna leave something relevant. So I totally agree. Working with your competitors in social media especially can help you massively. That alone helped me gain a huge audience fast. And so I've just left another relevant comment. And what you'll also notice that I'm doing is towards the end of the comments, I'm trying to put something in there that might spike someone's interest. So rather than just saying, I totally agree that, and you should be, you know, thanking your competitors, that doesn't really draw any attention. However, I, if I mention that by doing this, it's allowed me to gain a huge audience, the majority of the people looking at this post on Instagram here, are trying to learn how to build a big audience. That's why they're looking at hashtag Instagram tips. So if I have something like that in there, it's likely to build some intrigue and bring people across to your account. Just don't go too over the top with this because you can look spammy or you can come across insincere by doing so. Now the other cool thing about this tool here is you can actually use previous comments and just have them directly copied across when you are running this to save time. So I'll show you what I mean. If we go to, if we find a post about Instagram Reels, um, maybe we'll go to hashtag Instagram, Instagram Reels tips. Um, and we'll see if we can find a post which is giving a bunch of tips on how to use Instagram Reels. So here's a post, a uh, new blog post, Instagram's Reels in 2021. Uh, how to create a reel, all of this stuff here. You can see that I have previously made the comment, reels have been insane for our clients, would suggest everyone jump on them. I can simply just click that, it pops up here, I click post, and again, that is another comment done for the day. And pretty much what you're gonna do is just roll through this and leave a ton of comments to put your account out there in front of more highly targeted people. And this is keeping track of everything to make sure you A, do enough comments to get yourself out there, but also that you don't go overboard with it to the point where you could get banned. So uh, now I'm gonna jump across to Squared Academy. This is another profile which gives out some awesome Instagram tips. And I'm gonna go across to their posts and I am going to go engage with it. Now, when you're commenting on accounts rather than hashtags, you do ideally wanna be in there early because as we can see, this post was made three days ago. It's already been liked by 6,287 other people. And if we have a look at their profile, they usually get about seven and a half, they usually get about 7,000 likes. So 90% of the impressions of this post have already been done. So if I leave a comment now, only like 10% of their audience has the ability to see it, as opposed to if I left it instantly, like as soon as they posted, and then 100% of their audience has the chance to see it. But nevertheless, I'm still gonna engage with it so you can sort of see what sort of comments I'm leaving. But um, 
at the end of the day, you do wanna be doing this right away when they post. So this post here is all about avoid making these Instagram mistakes. So we got seven Instagram mistakes. Don't overload your posts with call to actions. Good tip. I'm gonna give you guys some education from these guys whilst I'm also engaging with their comments, content. So don't overload your posts with call to actions. Don't use a line height that's too large. Don't use giveaways for growth. Giveaways in some situations can actually be good. It just has to be highly, highly targeted and the only people that would even consider entering would be people who are gonna be interested in your product or service. So give away something that would only be of interest to someone you're interested in. So for example, if I was to host a giveaway on my account, I would probably give away subscriptions to the Instagram growth tools that I use, like Flick, like Canva, like Dollar80, because if someone isn't interested in growing their Instagram, they wouldn't even enter in the first place. So the only people entering are people interested in growing on Instagram, which is what my content's all about. So they would be highly targeted. But 99% of the time, avoid Instagram giveaways. Now don't use a title or headline. Don't use icons or illustrations that don't match. Don't use saturated colors and make your text big enough to read from a meter away. Again, another good one. You want it to stand out on the explore page. So the comment I'm gonna make uh, is gonna be about giveaways. That's something I've got experience in. The rest of the tips are more about design, something I don't have a lot of experience in. So I'm gonna jump into the comment section and do something like, what was the giveaway one? It was number three, number three. Number three is huge. Loop giveaways will ruin your account in the long run. However, I would add that when done right and you use highly targeted giveaways, giving away highly targeted, what's the word? Highly targeted offer prizes. That's what I'm looking for, prizes. The very difficult to remember word. Um, highly Giving away highly targeted prizes, then they can be highly effective. I've helped clients make a lot of profit for their businesses doing so. So again, we're leaving something relevant to the post that is emphasizing their points, adding a little bit of value, and then having something slightly intriguing at the end that's likely to bring um, people back to my profile. Something about I've helped clients do this. So you don't have to necessarily put that. If you just add value to the post, you'll get people to do that. And oh, look at that, you can see. Marketing Harry, you may well see him in the comment section. He's usually pretty active on this YouTube channel. Um, he also gives away some awesome Instagram tips too. Uh, but anyway, that is pretty much how you should be using this strategy. You find hashtags and accounts where your target audience hangs out, you engage with them, leave value, which is gonna drive people back to your profile. Make sure that when people are landing on this profile, it looks great, it's gonna convert people into followers and customers. And personally, when using this strategy, I use $80 as a Chrome extension not a bot that's not gonna engage on your behalf. It's more there to highlight the profiles, track your progress, and allow you to stay consistent, which is one of the biggest things that you need to be doing to win on Instagram, social media, business, whatever you're aiming to do. You have to be really consistent, and this tool helps you do that. It's got the hashtags you can keep track of, so it saves you time trying to go through and leave 10 comments on each one each day. Uh, and then you can track the accounts that you're using as well. It shows how many comments you've done, so you're not gonna go over the top. The one thing I will say with this strategy, with this tool, with everything like this, is trying to spread it out. Um, now you can queue comments with this tool, but uh, you can do that, or you can just comment them throughout the day. But that is it for this tutorial. We'll jump back to the main screen. So that wraps up today's full walkthrough tutorial of how to use the $1.80 growth strategy on Instagram using the $1.80 Chrome extension. Now, $1.80 have been kind enough to actually sponsor this video and give away a free month of their paid plan to every single one of you watching this video. So if you wanna claim that, I'll put the code up on the screen 
All you gotta do is head to the link in the description for my unique link. Click on that, use the code, and you'll get a free month of them where you can try out their tool, use their little widget that I was just showing you there, which allows you to save time and energy with the strategy as well as stay more consistent, be more effective, and just get better results all around. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.